You think this is how I wanted this to be? All I ever wanted was a normal conversation. The two of us sitting across each other over dinner, working things out. But no, now we're in motel hell. Because you wouldn't have it any other way. This is your choice, Jessica. Not mine. I'm coming! Whoa, relax! Mama, what are you doing here? There better be some room left in that closet. What's going on? You look... What happened to you? You happened, Aubrey Went. With you and your schemes have cost me everything, including my husband. Well, I know Vimal's upset, but come on. Vimal has left me, Aubrey. He's gone God knows where with God knows whom to do God knows what. John McBain has been after me for years. But Christian wasn't interested in an apology, so I learned an important lesson. If you're going to throw yourself at someone's mercy, don't do it in a steam I, room. I was charging. Unless you want to look more pathetic than when you came in. Oh, it's not that bad. Really? Okay, it's that bad. Wait, it gets worse. I reach home to find out that my home is no longer mine. What? Cutter lost the house. Oh my God, how did that happen? I don't know, the Buchanans took it back somehow. All I know is when I reach home, they were changing the locks and throwing us out along with the trash. So you came here? Yeah, and I'll be taking the bed. No, oh, come on, Roma, there's gotta be somewhere else you can stay. Not since you destroyed my marriage. It's not destroyed. Vimma will come around, he just needs a little time. How much time did you give Joey, Aubrey? A lot. Has he come around yet? Do you think he ever will? Feel like the shakes? Hey, oh. hey, I try not to make it too tight. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but how else was I supposed to keep you from bailing on me? This is the only chance I have of getting Tess to hear me. Can you hear me, Tess? You in there? You don't think of Tess as a, as a person, do you? No, to you she's just a, a, a problem. A puppy who chews up furniture until you show up and say, bad dog. Well, it's different for me. It's different. I love her. I want a life with her. And we're not leaving this room until I get her back. Wow. You know, all he ever did was love me. I was his queen. And what did I do? I let him go to prison. I let him believe I was carrying his child. And while he was in prison, pining away for his wife and his unborn child, I, I added insult to injury with a meaningless flirtation. But you did not have an affair, Rama. I lied, Aubrey. I lied to a man who entrusted me with his heart and soul. Poor Rama. He deserved better than this. He deserved better than me. No, for... Wanna know why we're in this place? Tess knows. She came here with me, didn't you, Tess? This is where we hid out and planned our future. Where we committed to a new life for ourselves, for our son. It's where we let down our guard. And stopped being afraid to, to tell each other how we feel. We made love that night. And it, it was love. Not, not just sex, because we, we love each other. And then I went and made the biggest mistake of my life. I left you alone. I, I went to see Cutter to ask him to give you a divorce. And when I was gone, that's, that's when Jessica made her move. She knew that you were vulnerable and that, that you couldn't stand up to her. And when I got back, you were gone. Tess, I am so sorry. If I had to do it over again, I, I, I would never leave your side. Not for a second. I'd do whatever it takes. Because I need you, Tess. I don't want to live without you. Please. Please come back. Tess? Is that you? Ow! Oh, sorry, there's just so many knots. Ah! Uh, I'd rather be boiled in oil, stop. At oh. least I tried. I think you're gonna need professional help. My whole life needs professional help. Oh, God. I'm sorry. It's okay, my hair will survive. No, I'm not talking about your hair. I'm talking about you and Vimal. I wasn't even thinking of him. 
How can I hurt him like that? He's such a sweet guy and he's so loving and caring. Like Joey. Oh man, we had good ones. We did. Joey was a good man. And what would a good man want with me anyway, right? Especially after finding out everything that I did and all the lies that I told. It's a long list. <laughs> but you know what? If you think Vimal will forgive me one day, maybe Joey will forgive you someday. No way. Are you kidding? I lost my last hope of holding on to Joey the day that Jessica came back. Tess, you're back, aren't you? Yeah, this is nothing like this. Ah, you believe it, it worked. You heard me? Yes, I got the stupid thing on. Okay, 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 hang on, hang on. I did, you just need to promise me that this is real. I promise. for you doesn't look like anybody hurt us. So get comfortable. Because you're Hello? Hello? What's going on in there? Is everything all right? Hello? 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 You feel differently about that. We heard a noise. It sounds like someone's in trouble. <laughs> Jump to conclusions. Maybe it's nothing. No, it didn't sound like nothing. I'm gonna call the police and have them deal with it. Okay. Yes, I'd like to report the Ford? I uh, Aubrey! What what a surprise. Sorry for the delay. I had to put on some pants. What's up? Um, uh, can you hold on one second? We heard a noise. Oh, yeah, that, sorry. I, um I'll keep the noise down. Sorry to disturb you. Not just a noise, a scream. For help. Oh. Yeah, well, my friend, she, uh, she, she's very vocal. You know, I tend to have that effect on women. Right, Aubrey? I'm sorry. Yes, uh, that was a false alarm. I apologize. Great. So, if it's okay with you, I'd like to rejoin my regularly scheduled program already in progress. I know, I know, I know, I know. They are mad at me for telling them that we were having sex. But what else was I supposed to say? Yeah, I've got a woman tied up and, and gagged in the bathroom, and she's... Oh, my God. What the hell am I doing? I only know him better than I do, so... I'm... I don't know, should we believe him or should we not? definitely going on. I don't know what it... Bimo? Mama? I... Are you staying here, Bimo? Are you? I thought you'd be on your way out of the country. Are you drinking? Isn't it obvious? She didn't want to leave you. I left her. And she's heartbroken. She's staying to fight for you. Staying here with you? Well, I suggested that we share a room until you guys work things out. You'd rather die than share anything with Rama. And what does she blackmail you with this time? No, please. No, don't bother. Don't bother. I've heard enough of your lies. You don't understand. I okay. understand that you're just as much of a liar as she is. The two of you, you, you don't understand what you've done, do you? Do you understand how many people your lies have hurt? They've hurt me. They hurt Joey Buchanan. They hurt John McBain. Nobody deserves to be abused in that way. To have your hopes built up only to have them be dashed to the ground? But you don't care. You don't care, do you? You keep telling lie upon lie. No, 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 not me. I'm gonna stop this madness. I'm gonna tell the truth for a change. Sorry, I guess I never realized how insane this was. I guess desperation really does a number on you. <sighs> what was I thinking? I knew that, that I could bring Tess back to the room where we spent some special night and that that would magically... <sighs> how could I ever think that that would bring Tess back? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just... I miss her. So much. And now I... I've gone and proven that I'm the bastard that everyone thinks I am. Oh, this is not the kind of guy that I wanted to be. All I've ever wanted is to be a father to Ryder and a hero to Tess. I wish you could forgive me. I understand why you can't.
Go ahead. Scream. Emil's just a little raw right now, but underneath it all, he is still so in love with you. It's just a matter of time before he comes crawling back. Aubrey, Emil's right. You're a very good liar. That's true, but I'm not lying about this. So cheer up. Yeah, that'll be easy. You know what we're going to do tonight? We are going to... Well, you're going to take a shower, fix your hair. We'll paint each other's nails and rent a movie and turn it up as loud as it possibly goes. See how Ford likes that. Put a little damper on his fun and games. Didn't sound like he was having too much fun to me. You're right. His usual Lothario act did seem a little forced tonight. I wonder what's really going on over there. Me too. I'm serious. You want to call for help? Go ahead. I won't stop you. I'm not going to call anyone. You're not? No. I'm going to apologize. <laughs>